Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Fadali and this video is about the zip and unzip command. We use the zip command to compress the files into the zip archive and we use the unzip command to extract the zipped file from a zip archive. Alright, first of all, I'm gonna open up the terminal and now I need to open up the files. I'm gonna go to the documents. So I'm gonna write the documents, alright. But first of all, we're gonna learn about the zip command, okay? For that, you have to write the zip, then you have to write the name of your zip file. So that would be archive1.zip. Then you have to write the name of the file which you want to include in your zip file, okay? So for now, I just want to include a single file, which is new file dot txt all right it will simply zip this single file okay so as you can see here but if you want to zip the multiple files what you need to do you're going to write the name of the files uh, and you have to give the spaces okay i have written a single file so i need to write the second file which is output dot txt and i'm going to write my web dot html Okay, I have to change the name here of my archive because otherwise it will override the first archive. So it's gonna be two. All right, as you can see here, we have created a two zip files. In the archive one, we have a single file, and in the archive two, we have the multiple files. Okay, as you can see here, uh, we are kind of having this uh, output while zipping the file while creating a zip file so if you just want to avoid it what you need to do you're gonna simply write the hyphen and q with it okay and gonna go change the name here three now if i just hit the enter it won't show you these outputs okay we have created the third archive and you can see here we haven't seen any output like these okay so you can avoid it by writing the hyphen and q for example, if you want to zip a directory which has a subdirectory and a content inside it. So how can we zip such directory? So what you need to do, I'm going to simply create a directory here first. Okay. And just move this file here. Okay. So we have the subdirectory and we have a content inside it. Okay. So I'm going to go back here, zip this uh, directory. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to write the R here and I'm going to write four here. All right. Okay, okay, I haven't given any file to it, so I have to give it a directory which is wanna be zip. Okay, so it is kind of adding all the files and the directory and the content of the subdirectory as well. But now if I just want to create a protected zip, it means a zip file with a password. So what you need to do for that, you're gonna write the E here and I'm gonna change the name five and I just want to zip the same directory and it will ask you for the password because you want to encrypt the zip. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a password. So we have the password here. All right. All right. I think I have done some mistake in the password. So I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Okay. So the archive five is a protected zip now. So whenever someone wants to extract it, it will ask the person for the password. Okay, so for example, if you just want to zip all the files in the current directory, so for that, what you need to do, you're gonna write the zip and you have to provide the name, then remove this. Okay, that would be zip. Then you're gonna write the star, it will simply include all the files of your current directory into your zip file. Okay, so it will simply include all the files. So if I just try to go to the archive 6. And you will simply see that it includes all the files of the current directory inside the zip file. Okay, so this is how you can include all the files of your current directory inside a zip file. But if you just want to go a bit specific here, what you can do, you're gonna do write the txt. For example, I just want to zip all the files but with the txt format only. So I'm gonna write the zip and I'm gonna give it a name. Okay, and it will include all the files with the txt format. Okay, as you can see here included all the files with the txt format only so this is how you can go specific with the format as well okay so now we're gonna use the unzip command so for that what you need to do you're gonna write the unzip you have to simply write the name of your archive which you want to unzip so i just want to unzip the archive to do all right okay so it is asking me a kind of question because i already have a file named by the new file.txt so it is just asking me that i want to replace this file yes or no or i just want to rename it so i just want to rename it to unzipped new file so it's gonna work fine i guess okay okay i have to use the yes for now okay so i was doing a kind of uh, mistake okay so i have to use the r if i just want to rename it so i'm gonna use the r then i have to provide a new name to my file that is going to be extracted from a zip file so i want to give it a new name unzipped new file dot txt i think it will work fine okay so we also have the another file so i'm gonna write the r and web dot html so we are done here we just extracted a zip file with the help of unzip command 
Okay, so if you just want to unzip a zip file into a specific directory, what you need to do, you're going to write the unzip. Then you have to write the name of the zip file which you want to extract. Then you have to provide the path here. Uh, I'm going to write vzip. So as you can see here that I have provided a zip file and as well as a specific path. So it will simply extract the file to that specific path that I have provided. So, so in this case, I just want to extract the file into the wannabe zip folder or the directory so i'm gonna hit the enter so it will again ask me for to rename it so yes okay so new name for for is uh, just a new okay dot txt all right so as you can see here it we have these extracted files okay so this is how you can unzip the file into the specific directory but if you just want to unzip all the files together what you need to do for that okay so i'm just gonna create a new directory here okay just to make the things easier new it will work fine i guess okay we have the new directory and if you just want to extract all the zip files all together what you need to do you're gonna write the unzip then you have to write the star dot zip it will include okay it will simply extract all the zip files together so i have to provide a specific part otherwise it will keep asking for the rename so i'm gonna provide here a new directory i think that will work fine okay i have to rename it again i think okay just doing the random okay it will simply ask me the question to replace the file because we have already that file so i'm gonna simply replace it to make things easier yes 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 okay so we are done here okay so we have successfully extracted all the seven archives so if i just go to the new directory so it has all the files and the folders extracted okay so this is how you can use the zip and unzip command and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel and bye bye Oh,